Welcome back, Pokemon Go fans. Sorry I've been out for a little while, been a little sick under the weather, but I've been keeping up with the page. Y'all are doing excellent with those subscriptions. Appreciate y'all. Keep telling your friends, some goofy kids over here uh, doing Pokemon videos and uh, making a fool of himself uh, and helping you out as well. So today what I want to do is I'm getting a lot of questions from a lot of new trainers. Uh, what are good IVs for Pokemon to battle with, okay? So a lot of y'all are probably seeing something like this. Uh, probably with worse IVs than that. Those are called IVs. I'm not sure why, but uh, that's how they've always uh, called them since uh, since they came out uh, in 2016 and 2017. I think it was the later part of 2017. You couldn't see IVs. You would just uh, um, assess the... Uh, the um, the Pokemon and they would just tell you, "Ooh, it's really large. It'd be, it would, it has a high defense." It would never show you any of these IVs. Anyway, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a test. I'm telling people this is excellent IVs for anything a Great League and Ultra League because this is gonna with this IV the the almost no attack. That means you're gonna get off quicker little moves there. You won't do as much damage, but in pvp you want to get those shields gone they don't know what you have uh so you want to kind of speed off those those moves we're going to test all of this and then yeah, there's your perfect ivs okay now i know i know the uh cp power is not going to be as great on these two but we're going to test this all this is just you know so if if it turns out to be a bunk test all right, so how are we going to test this? I don't have any rocket balloons or anything like that. Okay, you're going to go to battle here. And no, we're not going to go battle people from around the world. We're going to go battle one of our, our trainers down here. Um, so we're going to ba uh, battle Blanche, Team Mystic's leader. Okay, um, we're going to go Great League here because um, anything, anything with a CP uh, level uh, combat power... Low, uh, 1500 or lower, and we'll get into here, anything 1501 all the way up to 2500 will be Ultra League. So um, when you're powering up their Pokemon or before you evolve them, make sure that, okay, if you're, if you're trying to get that guy to stay in a certain league, uh, remember to watch your CP level. So a lot of the times you may not be able to uh, evolve them up uh, as much as you want so all right so we're gonna try the guy with the you know pretty much all over IVs and let's uh, let's see what uh, what happens here okay so we're ready um, and then we'll just go in with a random team member all of, all we're worrying about is what electivire uh, does to um, open Pokemon here. all right so that's Sneasel all right, and let's go. Now, we have perfect defense and perfect attack. Okay, and we're kind of getting rocked here, but let's see. We got it. See, it took a little bit of time. I'm not measuring the time on this or keeping track of, of the time, but there you go. That was pretty good. Okay. So, we're getting off these moves pretty quick. that now and once you get past the ultra league in in these battles here then they start using shields so so uh your great league and ultra league battling the team uh, team leaders uh will not use shields okay so we lasted pretty good we're getting down to the uh third pokemon here go all right so we lasted there okay so i should i should be timing these uh, to get an accurate so anyway hey, all right yeah we got 1600 stardust or 600 stardust sorry about that okay so let's go back and now wait nope it wants to set up the same team okay so let's go ahead yeah wanted to set up the same team we're not trying to do that okay sir all right 
And now we're gonna plug in our second guy. Okay. So this one has the zero uh, 15, 15, okay? Now watch how fast we get off these, these spammy moves. Okay. All right, and let's go. Okay. Now, if you want to farm the moves, that's, that's something different. So, okay, we still got a good amount of health here. Okay, we're fighting the same people with almost the same, uh, well, exactly the same defense, so that's good. Alright. Okay, so our health is a lot better off than we were. So you can see that there's not that big a difference there. So, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that I was right in, in telling people that that's what to do. It's just that's what people have ingrained in me since I started playing the game. Um, sorry, so we're going to go to... Uh, we're going to go to... The Master League for this next... Next... Uh, test okay so we're gonna go oh yep yes that's what we're gonna do all right this one is maxed up to level 40 and this is the hundo okay so this is 15 15 15 and well we're not gonna have the same the same raid boss So yeah, there's, this is your shields, uh, so we're going to use shields in the Master League. So this is like battling another trainer. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and fire off this move. Okay. I should have told you, don't worry about wasting your time popping all the balloons uh, with your first two ones. They're just going to automatically shield. Just like the Team Go Rocket leaders. So now... Okay. Um, I'm going to eat this one. Sorry about that. I'm going to eat that one. And there we go. Okay, so... Right, let's fire off a flamethrower. So we're lasting a little more in battle here. Okay. And this is this is a little more beefier to the opponent than uh, than a sneasel, but it's all relevant. The, your strength, your trainer level, is all relevant to how strong the opponent's um, uh, Pokemon are going to be. At the, they're not going to match you up with uh, with your level thirty five trainer. They're not going to match you up with. A level 50 opponent or something like that Even in PvP or in uh, in any sort of Team Rocket battle or these battles uh, for for that matter. So, so they're not going to do that. They're going to match you up. So um, this is where a Hundo would come into place. Um, also, if you're if you're faced up against a mirror match, they call. So if they had an Electivire. And I'm going, and, I, and my, mine's an Electivire, and if their stats weren't 100% like mine, uh, then I would have the advantage. If they were 14, 15, 15, uh, then I would have the advantage over them. That's the only reason you'd want a Hundo, 
Not to mention, you see how tanky this uh, this guy is, and <coughs> yeah, you can. So that's that's what I'm saying. So you know, would I would I agree to saying that that IVs matter completely at all? Anything? Not really. You know, um, I would just say you know I I'd, I'd prefer to have the Hundo stats or very close to it, or the um, or having the zero fifteen fifteen. Okay, so there you go. Well, that was kind of mute point there. So that's what we're looking at there. So are IVs important? I guess it would. Uh, you know, it would. It would depend on your preference. Um, if you listen to all the experts. That, that uh, you know, in Great League, most of them are 0, 15, 15. Um, I could show you maybe a website you can go to that might help you out. Uh, let's see. Oh, i got too many apps open. I'm sorry I'm taking this long, but I think everybody needs to know this. All right, so it's uh, Stadium. Or is it Go Stadium? Hold up a second. I thought I had it. Yep, there it is. Go Stadium Rank Checker, okay? Okay, so what you're going to do is you would plug in. Uh, let's just say you're uh, you're a big fan of Gyarados, okay? Uh, so here, we're going to get rid of that ad. No, we don't want to click on the ad, you goofball moron thing. Get rid of that. Let's go back to our thing here. Okay, so we're going to click regular Gyarados. And why is it not letting... Oh, there you go. Okay, so right in here, you would plug in your your stats. Okay, so let's just say we have a 0, 15, 15, okay? Right, and then you go recalculate, and then you come down here, and it's going to tell you. It's like, okay, so a 0, 15, 15 would be ranked 229 out of... Uh, where does it tell you how many out of? It usually gives you an idea of how many people. Uh, maybe on the on the PC it does, but oh, okay, there you go, right there. Of out of four thousand ninety six, this this would be a rank two hundred twenty nine. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now we go down here. So there it is, top of the key in, in red. That's what your Pokemon is, a 0, 15, 15. Uh, you can see it's a 95.9%. Okay. Um, but then there's it. there it's showing you a perfect IV would be a 0, 14, 15. So there you go. So that would, that would work. Now let's just say if... Oh, no, we still want to use Gyarados. All right, so let's see. Uh, obviously, we know a 15, 15, 15 is going to be perfect. So let's just say we have a 6, fifth, uh, let's see, 13, 14. Okay, let's just do that. Okay. Uh, I would highly recommend this app. It is so awesome. Um, so... Then you would select, right? You would select, okay, here it is. All right, so we're going to select, just hit a little uh, little upside down triangles there. Okay, so in Great League, which is the little uh, little blue one all the way to the left, a 6, 13, 14 would be a 96.6%, um, you know, away from 100% stats. Okay, so... Again, they're telling you a 0, 14, 15 would be uh, 100% IV uh, for the Great League. All right, so let's check Ultra League. Okay, so we have a rank of, is it giving us our ranks? Okay, yeah, so so there you go. So in Great League, they're saying you to be a 591% uh, well, out of 4,096. So... Anyway, so there's that. So are IVs important? 
If you're a hardcore PvP -er or something like that, I would say yes. If not, you're just a casual gamer, you want to take down gyms, stuff like that, do not worry about the IVs. If they're if they're extremely ugly, oh, I've got some extremely ugly ones, uh, especially some of the recent ones that I've caught. <coughs> let's let's just go through some of the IVs here. Now, how do you determine IVs? Okay, uh, you see the little brackets there. Okay, they're they're uh, segmented into into three little sections. Um, there are five points in each one of those segments um so you can sort of count them down it's kind of easier if it's filled in so um so that would be if you're reading defense from left to right uh so that's a full bar is five and then the full bar is five and then i partially f like with a pinpoint uh that would be a 14 the one under it would be a 12 can you see that Okay, so we're looking at a 0, 14, 12 on a polywirl. Uh, so just, you know, have fun with it. Now, oh, it totally changes with the, with the shadows, but we'll do that in another video. Um, some of you may have what I call trash like this. I wouldn't keep anything like that. I wouldn't keep anything like this either. Uh, let's see, let's see. That is really good IVs. Um, definitely you want a good defense. I'd say a good defense and an HP, uh, if you can get something really good on, on, uh, that's not horrible. But I'm not gonna battle with, uh, with Whalmer. That's the other thing you have to understand is, is are you, you know, they, they call, uh, the top, maybe top 50 Pokemon, they call them meta-relevant Okay, and those are the ones that people are going to just always battle with. You're always going to see Mewtwo's, you're always going to see Giratina's, you're always going to see Rhyperior's, you're always going to see Gyarados. Uh, they're your top 50 Pokemon that everyone's going to battle with. You're never going to see a Whelmer. You might see a Whelmer in a gym or something like that to just defend a gym, but not for battling. Uh, so there are definitely uh, Pokemon that you're not going to battle with, and that's where you determine, you know, am I am I keeping this because I want to battle with it, or if I just want to put it in a gym, try to get me my 50 coins for a day, uh, which requires you to be in that gym for eight hours. Okay, so uh, you can see the yeah they they vary. Um. <coughs> Tapu Finney is the uh, the new uh, legendary boss that we have right now in five star raids, and uh, <coughs> sorry, this cold has really gotten me down. Um, IVs would really matter when it comes to your uh, raid bosses. Yep. Say Lapras, I wouldn't battle with that. I'd stick him in a gym. Uh, but there you go. Ditto, trash IVs. If you like collecting ditto, keep it. Otherwise, delete that guy. Delete him. Get you an extra candy. So, I hope this was informative. Um, leave in the comments if, if there's anything more you need me to cover on this. Um, questions and answers, you know, hey, let's see what we can cover in the next couple of videos. You let me know what you want me to see. And uh, there you go. I hope that helped. See y'all in the next one.